Sassy Sagittarius. Hello, my darlings. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Keep a note, it does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Sag, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. If you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them. It, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy, okay? And remember, roles can always be reversed. Sage, I thank you all. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about your energy. Um, it's actually a couple of different things. I don't know if you're kind of in that mood where kind of like, uh, I guess sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> um, at first you came in like really, really sassy and fun and flirtatious. And I love when you guys get like that because you're the life of the party, you know. But then um, as I kind of settled in your energy a bit, I picked up on uh, uh, um, uh, masculine energy, uh, masculine energy that's giving you trouble. I'm not going to lie. Possibly Pisces. Um, and lapse of memory. So I don't know if somebody's saying to you, like, you, do you remember when we, or they're saying to you, do you remember when you said, or whatever the case is, but you have absolutely no clue of what uh, this person is saying. Um, some of it is a bit accusatory, but for the most part, it really is general. I think you kind of... Um, either um suppressed or you you just really went how can i say that um you ever have an instance where somebody's talking to you and you can't hear them but you see them talking like you're just completely tuned out or what they're saying to you won't it won't you can, it doesn't make sense like it won't go in um i don't know how to say what i'm saying but i think the that's what you were going through either you were going through something and you completely kind of tuned it out you know some days we just float through let, let's just keep it decent, okay? We all we all have instances like this. Um, we kind of just get through the damn day, you know? And I think that uh, what somebody is trying to ask you about or even accuse you of, that might have been one of those days for you where you was just trying to get through the day and you really don't know what they're talking about. It, it, you're not lying and you're not saying that, you know, I wasn't there. You're saying like, I don't know. I don't remember. I truly don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> and for some reason, this person is not accepting that because it's, what do you mean? You don't remember you were standing right there. You heard me say it. Matter of fact, you say it, blah, 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 blah. But you're like, look, I, I don't need, I don't know. <laughs> Weird, right? But that's how your energy came in. So God only knows where this reading is going to go. We're pulling from the awakened soul for you today because I did like the sassy uh, that I picked up on. And this feels good to me today for, for you. Sagittarius, there it is. Ah, look, you were unplugged. You said, huh? You turned the hearing aid off. You say, I was there, but my hearing aid wasn't on. I couldn't hear what you was <laughs> Love it. I love it. All right. So let's fast forward. I think that that happened in the past, but I think now today it's kind of resurfacing. So if you need to kind of unplug from the world and regroup, because this brings to kind of your attention, the fact that you really kind of floating through here, you know, your feet aren't completely on the ground. Sometimes you got to unplug and just take a minute. All right, Sagittarius, you're no stranger uh, to taking some time off for yourself, cutting your phone off, uh, not connecting with you. You're no stranger. You know how to like shut it down. 
you know how to do that. And this may be the season that you're in or the season that you're stepping in. What's coming in for you though, this is the sassy. Look at this burlesque, beautiful picture right here. Sassy than a mother lover. This is coming in for you. If you haven't tapped into this yet, it is showing as coming in and gratitude is right behind that. So lots and lots of blessings. It just might be right now. Uh, it's just um, funky. It's funky energy. And it's not like bad or anything like that. It's just numb. You know, it's, it feels kind of numb. Like you were, either you were or you um, are feeling completely disconnected. Just completely disconnected. All right. So let's see if we can get some meat and potatoes. We're going to pull from Pruitt's for you today. That sensuality is so fun. It really is. It's. I know you're going to kind of like step into owning that uh, king and queen of wands energy, owning your focus and passion and confidence. And oh, I love when you guys are in your true energy. But right now, it's like only a little bit of it. Like I said, it came in a little bit and I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking we can really have some fun. And then this shit popped up like you were completely out of it. All right, let me have a center for Sagittarius. What's that for? Okay. Two of Pentacles. So, Two of Pentacles energy, you might feel like it's a lot on your plate. You got a lot going on. You're juggling back and forth. You know, sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Same thing I said earlier. Okay. So that's how you might feel right now. So if that's the case and you need to unplug, then so be it, you know, until things settle. At the Seven of Cups uh, at the bottom, you do have a lot going on. It's this Seven of Cups talks about confusion. It talks about illusions, um, sometimes emotional um, mm, daydreaming, trying to figure out, like, you know, look at her. She's gone. She is up in the clouds, you know. You're trying to figure out what's the best uh, way to do things, uh, what should I get rid of? You know, uh, what, whatever the case is, you know, you have a, a full plethora of options or obstacles or goals or roads, you know, um, different things. And you're like, you're trying to figure things out. You got things going on here. You got things going on here. And now somebody's asking you about something from 1922. What? Huh? I, I don't know. What you mean? Hello? <laughs> All right, Sag, let's see what's crowning you right now. What's crowning Sag? What's hanging over their head right now? Hello. All right, so on one side, we have the Six of Cups. So I like that. It's a um, it's support, emotional support, past life assistance, um, emotional stabilization, because that's what we need right now. We got to pull down from that, okay? And it's also a forward moving energy. So this, this restabilization of your emotions, maybe from this unplug, this will get you kind of back together, get your mind right uh, so that you can think clearly. On the other side of this, I have the sun, I have the fool, I have the ten of pentacles, sad. <laughs> yep, look, fell right on it. <laughs> I love it. Sun energy, Leo energy, uh, full energy, Aries, Aquarian, uh, Ten of Pentacles, of course, Earth. So we're talking about exciting times here, okay? Uh, exciting times with the sun. It's very whimsical. It's very enlightening. It's very illuminating, all right? With the full, we're talking about leap of faith. We're talking about resetting, starting over, starting fresh, trying new things, okay? Ten of Pentacles, we're talking about family. We're talking about foundation. We're talking about finances. Like everything kind of start to come together and yay, why wouldn't that make you happy, therefore birthing that sassy sensuality. Lovely. You get back to yourself, like I said. So emotional stability will bring this in. So in the meantime, then we have to figure out a way to get, to pull that energy down uh, so that you can access it and it can start uh, to make some changes in your life. And if you need to unplug to do that so that you can figure out what's important and what's not, you know, uh, then so be it. You know, then so be it. Three of cups at the bottom, nothing but celebratory energy, good fun, you know, good time, social engagements, things like that. I love it. Uh, let's see what's working against you. What's in the way for Sagittarius? What works against this energy right now? What's working against 
this energy right now. Thank you so much. Okay, and I have the Four of Pentacles holding on to old shit. Yeah, either you or somebody else is holding on to something that they need to let go of. That's just the bottom line. And this is holding on tight with uh, conviction, okay? With conviction. Let it go. If it's you, Sag, let it go. If it's them, which it probably is because I think they're approaching you about some old stuff, they got, you know, it's... It's going to feel to you like this is like it's something that won't just go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. You know, like, darn, it was 10 years ago. What do you want me to do? It was 10 years ago. Seriously, there you go. Queen of Wands. It might be you, Sag. Be mindful also, because this comes to mind with this Queen of Wands, the old you. Okay. Be mindful of the old you. If your overwhelming uh, sensations right now are tossing between the old you and the new you, that can be the same energy. I would read that as the same energy. You understand? So you have to kind of apply this reading if it's resonating with you where it fits. Don't force it. But if it's an old you that you're holding on to, an old mindset or old habits old situations, old way of thinking, old way of processing. And God has shown you a new and you're not exercising that new, then that would create this reading. That's my point. You understand what I'm saying? So be mindful of that as well. Let's see what brought this on for said. Can we have some meat and potatoes? Please and thank you. Past it. Hello. I want this one too. All right, five of swords. So we may have had betrayal, somebody playing games, somebody talking about you. I have a king of swords in reverse. It was definitely nothing good. And then I have a king of cups. So lots of air and water here. And I said maybe Pisces earlier. I said that with this king of cups. This person is angry. And they've been holding this in for quite some time. Oh. What you say? Don't say all. <laughs> Shut up, Sash. Stop. <laughs> all right. I, come on. I got, you know, come on. We, all right. Come on, y'all. Let's behave, you know. But this King of Cups is really hurt. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um, well, I know you feel like you don't initiate, you react. You know, I know you feel like that but I'm not talking about what happened. I'm just simply saying that the emotions that I'm getting from this King of Cups are hurt. But that's what I'm saying, okay? Um, this King of Cups, first of all, the King of Cups is the master of emotions, all right? He doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve. He knows how to walk by his queen like he ain't never see that heifer a day in his life, knowing that's the love of his life, but because that's the emotional control that he has, you know? And I think that whoever operated in this King of Cups energy, they kind of held something for a long time, and they didn't say anything for a long time with the King of Swords, and they felt like you know, the, uh, you got away with, you know, this betrayal or this act of vengeance or whatever it is that you got away with it. And so now, fast forward to today, you're trying to, you know, cook and clean and, and, and get the kids together and, and take care of the parents and, and, you know, doing all these things. And this person, it comes up like, remember when? And you're like, no. And I think it kind of pisses you off that they're holding on to that. Whatever it is, it's insignificant to you and it means something to them. Now, let's switch this around a little bit. Remember earlier I said, be mindful of the old you. Sag, it was a time before your development and edification in this life uh, uh, that you were one holding on to emotions that you were the one, you know, holding on to things. You didn't say anything, you reacted, you know? So the same message would apply. I love you, but you know, we talk here, okay? All right, let's get to the future, see what's going on. Can we have some future energy? Where's this going? For Sagittarius, please and thank you. Ah, lovely hermit, told you, unplug. Same thing. 
gotta be by yourself sleep by yourself <laughs> All right. Hermit energy talks about the growth and wisdom um, in solitude um, in this part of the or in this season or chapter of your life. You know, it's Virgo energy and it's not a bad thing. You know, it's just a time where it's kind of just between you and God. That's it. This is between you and God. This this chapter right here will be between you and God. And she's grateful for it. You know, she's grateful for it, okay? And that's the gratitude that's right behind here. See, same energy, same. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just between you and God. And if you need, what is that? Magic, ooh. Huh, that's gonna be interesting. That's later on, we ain't gonna jump that far ahead. Um. <sighs> With this hermit, you know, it's the wisdom that you gain from the journey. You're the wisdom that you gain from the knowledge. The wisdom that you gain from the lesson, you know. So this is still divinely uh, guided. So you're still in forward moving energy. But at this time, it's just supposed to be between you and God, okay. So don't feel bad if you have to take uh, some time to yourself and just regroup, restabilize, you know, rebalance your emotions because this is part of your growth. Hair fine at the bottom of the deck. All right, Taurian energy. This is part of your next step, your growth, your leveling up, okay? Um, you might even seek counsel uh, from uh, your, your leaders, you know, uh, Uncle Earl or Aunt Betty, you know, uh, your, your bishop, your amin, uh, things like that, the Hierophant energy would fall into that as well, you know, but like I said, it, even with hermit energy, I said it's between you and God. So if you see, uh, you know, you have a matriarch uh, of your family or somebody in higher authority that you respect, that you need, think you need counsel from, then please uh, get that counsel because if they're going to give you information um, or you're going to receive information in your private prayers and meditation, that's going to really kind of have you taking a step back and thinking, you know, Four of Swords energy is about resting, about contemplation and um, restoration, getting your mind right so that you can um, maybe reintroduce, um, re or, or, or even receive, you know, what this person is offering because the Page of Cups, it does represent, you know, not just an emotional, a small emotional exchange, it's nothing big, you know, but sometimes it's as simple as I'm sorry. You know, my bad, you know, um, and if that's the case, it might come from nowhere with this tower, but it's going to be um, something that somebody is operating in obedience. They're told to do this. OK, with that eight of wands, it's going to come out. Of, it's going to come quick out of the blue. This person might apologize or this might be you, but they're going to be operating out of obedience. OK, so, you know, I think that um, brings in good times for you because First of all, you know, whether or not you want to accept an apology from somebody is definitely your choice. But to know that they're saying, to, it, it, whether they say it to, or not, I'm telling you that they prayed about this and this is what they got from God. That kind of favor is just a place to celebrate. To know that you uh, were, um, uh, you, you have a, a place in God's uh communication with someone. You, you understand what I'm saying? That's favor in itself. To know that God is talking to somebody about you, honey, that's just, that's, I could shout right there. I could shout right there just to know that God is talking to somebody about me. I am that, what, what? You better go ahead. All right. And, and allow things like that to confirm and reaffirm who you are, where you stand, what your purpose is, and, and, and go through this portal, this 1111 energy and, and love yourself, you know, love yourself. All right. And if it gets to a point that you guys reconcile, nice. And if you still see it as toxic and you say, you know what, thank you, 
and thank uh, and and in your prayers you can thank God for that. But then you you go ahead about your business. Either way is fine as long as you're operating. If walking away is a way to love yourself, then love yourself. If you know reconciling and celebrating is a way to love yourself, then love yourself. You know either way you're getting out of toxic energy and you're getting back to your foundation. You're getting your feet back on the ground with this King of Pentacles. You know what I mean? You're getting back to what you were doing before, which was working hard and focusing on your future and getting that generational wealth together and getting your foundation together, making sure your home is together because you know that you're not accepting no crap from nobody no more. All right. Anybody offering, you take that stand. You're saying, no way, Jose. No way, Jose. Can't do it. Seven of Wands. Can't do it. Sorry. All right. Damn. You do have a lot on your plate. Um, this is a problem. I said it here and I thought we can get past it, but it's coming up now in the tarot. <sighs> right, Sage, I love you. Let me start there. Because we was going so good. But I have to, I just want to give you a heads up. All right. Some of you have, you already know. I'm going to tell you this. You already know. Um, who this person is. This has been an ongoing situation for some time. This person is trying to get you either fired or hurt in some way, in some kind of trouble, okay? Um, they're younger than you or immature. They might be one of your kids um, or maybe another, like a immature coworker. Page of Wands, you know, is somebody that's inexperienced with action. Poor thing. They don't even know what they're getting into. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're trying to get you stuck. They're trying to get you stuck. They're trying to stop you. And they can't. I ain't gonna lie. But they're trying. They're trying to create a conflict that causes conflict in your life. Do that make sense? I hope I'm saying that right create this is like i don't know like a kid that intentionally spills milk on the floor because they know that uh the dog spilled milk before and they're going to get blamed you know so they'll spill the milk because to get the dog in trouble that's how this feels to me it feels like somebody's doing something that uh, you're known for or that you would be sus suspected of uh, to get you in trouble, all right? But the devil is a liar. See, you already know. God gonna tell you Ace of Swords is here and Justice is right behind it. I can't. I love y'all so much. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You can't mess with um, you, you just can't do it. It is what it is. I don't care. I ain't getting into that. But yeah, Cassage, you're doing it. Okay, you're doing the right thing. Um, like I said, if this is an old you with emotional, like uh, holding on to old stuff, that works against you. You know, this Four of Pentacles, holding on to old stuff will work against you. Now, if this is somebody else's issue, um, it is what it is. You know, you have a lot going on right now. You need to focus on your um, grounding, your stability, and your time, your personal time with your um, father, you know, and let it feed you, nurture you, and um, level you up like it's intended for in this season in your life, okay? All right, I hope this helps. Now, if any event you say, Green Eyes, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that, all right? Check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not for you. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is free and it does support the channel. If in any event you're looking for more content, I do post more at Boomstick Level Energy Memberships and a little more um, at least twice a week with Leap of Faith. You know what I mean? So jump on board if you'd like to. Other than that, guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.